afternoon everybody, Silver Vault here, back for another Transformers review, going to be doing today, Afterburner, the, um, one of the arms, or legs, of Computron. Now, in keeping with the straight video, we're going to be discussing this guy. Now, Afterburner is, of course, created in the episode Grimlock's New Brain, and, um, immediately starts running his mouth, um, and... To be honest, that's something that Afterburner then does consistently. See, Afterburner's a very angry individual. He, 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 he you know, he, you know. He, apart from the fact that he's dangerous, if he wasn't dangerous, he'd be quite a, he'd be quite the little emo. You know, he hates the world. He thinks it's all unfair, and and he's a very angry person. He's also a very dangerous person because he hates authority and kind of like Scattershot, he's he's liable to smack you in the gob if you try and give him an order. You know, so as I said, apart from the fact that he's dangerous, he's quite a little emo. Um, he can just about keep his temper in check when he forms Computron, but only just. Now, in the Generation 1 cartoon, um, <coughs> shut up, Arto. That really is turning into my catchphrase. I will change that message tone eventually. I will, honestly. Seriously, I will. Um, but anyway, in the Generation 1 cartoon, Afterburner, of course, created by Grimlock, um, helps beat the snot out of the Terracons, and promptly uh, then goes off to Earth and um, meets up with Marissa Fairborn and uh, Dirk Malus. Yeah, Dirk Malus, yeah. Uh, okay, and that's about all that he does in the, the Generation cartoon, though he is present with the rest of the Technobots at the Battle for Autobot City um, at the start of the Rebirth. Um, in fact, I believe Afterburner's one of the ones that's actually in the control room with the other Technobots um, and Goldbug discussing what happened to the Decepticons after they got Optimus Prime back. But, okay, but Afterburner um, doesn't really do a lot in the Rebirth. In fact, doesn't really do an awful lot in the cartoons either. And in the comics, he doesn't really do an awful lot. Um, he does go with the other Technobots to uh, Nebulos with Ultra Magnus. Um, when Ultra Ma when not Ultra Magnus, when with Fortress Maximus, when... Um, you know, the, when they're sick of the war. Why Afterburner, who is quite a violent fighter, is quite sick of the war? But that's never really explained. More than likely, Scattershot beat him over the head until he complied. Um, and also, of course, during the UK Marvel comics, um, Afterburner is one of the ones that is deactivated by the underpowered Starscream at the defence of Buenos Aires. Um, in the IDW publishings, in the novel Stormbringer, Afterburner, and I believe it's Nosecone, are stuck on the planet after the Decepticons gun them under bludgeon gun them down. And they get gunned down, um, but they don't get captured, unlike the other Transformers. Uh, unlike the others, of the, uh, him and Nosecone don't get captured, unlike um, the other Technobots. Um, and they manage to hold out, though they're nearly dead by this point until Optimus Prime can get to them. Now, later on, when Optimus Prime comes across a group of Cybertronians that have been uh, engineered by Jahaxis, um, he turns them over to um, the Technobots and Jetfire, who begin to try and, you know, kind of like sort them out. And Optimus Prime actually orders them to terminate the, to terminate them, the Gisults, rather than let anyone else get their hands on them. Uh, the Technobots actually fail in their duty to do this, uh, mainly because they get bombed. And that is Spotlight RC. Uh, and that's it for Afterburner. Um, doesn't really do a lot. I've got a whole feeling that throughout these Computron videos, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Doesn't really do a lot. Doesn't really do a lot. Doesn't really do a lot. It's quite worrying. Excuse me. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I'll get to that in a bit anyway. Oh, I know what that is for. Anyway, sorry. Um... Onto the toy of Afterburner himself. Now, Afterburner turns into this Cybertronian jet bike, which uh, looks like a cross between one of the light cycles from Tron, and I suppose you could say one of the non-attack cycles from um, Command and Conquer. And it's quite a funky little thing, despite the fact that mine is actually very dirty. Um, now then, uh, transforming him, um, hardly rocket science, obviously. Uh, pull the wheels down, flip up the chassis, Turn it down. Mine's very, very stiff. Pull the arms down like that. And push the head back. And there we have Afterburner. Now, 
A couple of things that are trivia-wise about Afterburner. Firstly, originally, his animation model never took into account his two wheels. In the earliest designs of Afterburner, he only has one wheel, which is offset in one of his shoulders. Okay, that's one piece of trivia. Two, he has no hands at all. I don't know how well you can see this, but he has no hands. He has got two nubbins. He has no hands. The only thing he does have is a little hole here, which is where his handgun goes. But other than that, he doesn't have any hands. And the other point I want to make about Afterburner is that when he was released, mine's actually gone, but you can just see there a square. That's where the rub sign goes. However, some versions of Afterburner were not released with this rub sign. So there we go. Okay. But that's about all I can say about Afterburner. You know, he's quite a funky little toy. He does have two modes because he's got an attack mode. Uh, which is where some extra weapons go in these peg holes here. Um, I actually don't have these peg these weapons. Um, I don't have them for any of them actually, apart from straight, which are stuck in the top. Um, and it's one of the things about the combiners that's actually very hard to come across is that those those weapon parts are hard to find. I think I just said the right thing. I'm not sure. But anyway, anyway. Um, like many of the later combiners, he's very much a block. You know, he's a nice block, but he's still a block. Um, in what's been dubbed the Scramble City combiners, the later combiners, unlike Devastator, can be combined into any form of combination you like. Um, and the bit that I was filling around with er earlier on, which is very stiff and doesn't want to come out, is I've just realised what it's actually for, is it's the peg... And it's just in there. Can I have, do I have anything I can get it out with? I'll try this. There we go. Gives a peg for him to slot into the uh, the feet. I'm trying to think how he'd actually do it. It'd probably be like that foot goes underneath there, because I've never actually done it this way, the foot goes underneath there into that hole at the front, and that bit slots into the into the part of scatter shop. So, something like that anyway. Um, but no, mainly he uh, Afterburner's role is delegated as one of the arms along with, along with Strafe. Because of course no There we go. Into Computron's arm. Okay, that's it for straight for now, though. Um, do try and don't do what I did because I bought him years ago now, and I bought him as Computron without making sure he was fully complete. So if you are going to get them, try to make sure that you do get them fully complete. But for now, this is Silverbolt with Afterburner signing off, saying au revoir, adios, alvidense.